Okay, so exercise 4 9. Just making sure I got the right one here. Yeah, okay. It says the ledger of Howard Rental Agency on March 31st of the current year includes the selected accounts below before adjusting entries have been prepared. An analysis of the accounts show the following, and they have a one, two, three, four, and five. And then the instructions say, prepare the adjusting entries at March 31st, assuming the adjusting entries are made quarterly. Additional accounts are depreciation expense, insurance expense, interest payable, and supplies expense. So remember I told you about that periodicity assumption, right? And that we have to know about the idea of um, quarters and things like that, right? So let's see here what this says. Number one, the equipment depreciates at $280 per month. So they're telling us that the equipment depreciation is $280 a month, but this is for a quarter. So how many months are in a quarter? There's three months in a quarter. So three months in a quarter. So three times 280 is $840, $840. So for number one, uh, the date is uh, March 31. March 31, oops, 31, and we are going to be debiting depreciation expense for $840, three months worth of depreciation, and we're going to be crediting accumulated depreciation hyphen equipment, because they told us it was for equipment, okay? $840. So that's the entry for depreciation. Will you see an entry like that again? Yes, you will see an entry like that again in your homework and you will see it on the exam. Okay. All right. Number two, it says half of the unearned rent revenue was earned during the quarter. So you need to go up and look at the rent revenue. And if we look at the rent revenue, uh, we see it was $12,400. So half of $12,400 is $6,200. So we have earned $6,200. So we've got March 31. We are going to be um, debiting unearned rent revenue. $6,200. And we're going to be crediting rent revenue. And this is for crediting that 6200. This is an example of one of those ones where the revenue is not service revenue. It's linked to that um, account of rent revenue, unearned rent revenue. And you would know that by listing, looking at the um, chart of accounts in the problem for that problem. If you saw that rent revenue note there, you would know that that would be one that you were using. And for this one, um, we don't see the chart of accounts because, you know, this is a problem in the book, but it, within Wiley, you can see the chart of accounts. Okay. Uh, number three says interest of $400 is accrued on the notes payable. So this is interest that you owe that you need to post into your books. So March uh, 31, you are going to be debiting interest expense because this is um, an expense for the loan that you have that you owe this interest for. So you're going to debit interest expense, $400. And then you are going to credit interest payable because you have to pay this at a later date, $400. Crediting interest payable. Okay. Number four, it's a supplies on hand total $850. Supplies on hand total $850. And what's the magic number we're looking for when we deal with supplies? We are looking for how much we used. How much did we use? So we have to go to the trial balance they're showing there and see what the supplies were to start with. So um, for the supplies, right? We started with 3000 right? They told us that um, at the end, 
we had 850, right? So 850 minus 3,000 is 2150. Now the problem could just tell you what was used. So make sure you're reading the problem really closely. This one, you had to do the math, but sometimes they might say $2,150 worth of supplies were used. And then that's, you just do the entry for 2150. Okay, so we are going to debit supplies expense for 2150, the amount of supplies we used up. And we're going to credit the asset supplies for 2150. All right, last one says number five insurance expires at a rate of $400 per month. $400 per month. March 31, right? So again, we have to remember we're doing this quarterly. So if your problem tells you something like this is quarterly or annual or monthly, you might just want to write that on your scratch paper for the problem so that you know that that whole problem you're working on monthly or quarterly or annually, whatever it's telling you. So we have $400, there's three months in a quarter, $400 for one month, right? So three times $400 is $1,200. So we are going to be debiting insurance expense, $1,200. And we are going to be crediting prepaid insurance, $1,200, okay. So those are the answers for exercise 4-9 on page 4-49.